Hello and welcome to the Big Orbit's unboxing video of the new VEB01, The Destructive Raw. My name is James and today I'll be going through these boxes, showing you what's inside. And uh, as you see from the front, we've got the, the three plans we've got are Tachikaze, Spike Brothers and Mega Colony. We also get to see the Triple R Grade 3 units on the back. And also it lets you know there as well. So I'll mostly be going through the first one in a bit of detail. And um, when it comes to the second and third boxes, we'll probably have seen most of the single R's and commons, so I can just sort of skip through them a bit. So I get a little, little leaflet sort of thing about the uh, Vanguard games. I'm sorry, Vanguard games, Bushy Road games, there we go. We also get a little pack, and this will have each of the gifts. Um, one will have the VR on the front, so for this one we've got Machining uh, Spark Hercules, and otherwise the Force would have uh, General Safe Read, and that one would have Gigarex on it. So, starting off. Right, we have the Grade 3 Spike Brothers, Frontline Commander Sixerwald, Karma Queen, Heavy Artillery Dragon Sharang Astego, uh, Silent Joker, Sonic Breaker, Attempt Mammoth, so a single R for Tachikaze. A uh, continuous rearguard circle during your turn that attacks when your opponent would uh, call guardians from his or her hand, he or she must call two or more at the same time. And at the end of the battle that it attacked, discard a gauge equipped to this unit. If you cannot, then retire this unit. So really good if you have Sonic Noah behind it to give it a, a gauge every turn and to keep it nice and safe and just put some pressure on your opponent for making them guard, potentially overguard. And we've got a double R, Death Warden Ant Lion. So he's from Mega Colony. He's a grade 3 with the Protect Marker. And Auto Vanguard Circle, Rear Guard Circle. When it attacks, Soul Blast 1 grade 3 and discard 2 cards from your hand. And until the end of the battle, this unit gets plus 10,000 power and plus 1 critical. And your opponent cannot call Sentinels from hand to Guardian Circle. So you can buff him up quite a, quite a lot. It's sort of Mega Colony's version of Victorious Deer. Um, and it is very, very useful for the deck. All the Protect Clans like to have their big finisher, which is cool. So, on to this, we have Nasty Smog, Dragon Egg, Dracula Sagada, Cheerful Lynx, Cheer Gold Tiara, Wonder Boy, uh, when placed, you can put a non-grade 1 card from your drop zone to the bottom of the deck. This unit gets plus 5,000 power until the end of the turn. And at the beginning of the main phase, you put them into your soul, search your deck for up to one Wonder Boy, call it to Rear Guard Circle, and shuffle your deck. So, get to use its skill over and over again, which is very useful for the deck. Wonder Boy is incredible for the deck, um, because otherwise you just sort of lose resources for the um, putting things into soul, bringing them back. And we have Bloody Hercules. So, he's for Mega Colony, and Auto, Rearguard Circle 1 placed, Soul Blast 1, this unit gets plus 6,000 power until the end of the turn. And Auto, Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle, when it attack, when its attack hits, counter charge 1, and one of your units gets plus 6k. So it is incredibly useful. Um, Meg Colony have the most counter charges, but also have quite. Their VR has a counter blast of two, and a few of their rear guards also counter blast one. So it is very useful to have these counter charges, and you can just have that nice frequent one with Bloody Hercules while also giving your guys extra power. So we have Mecha Trainer, Machining Worker Ant, Funky Bazooka, Shelter Beetle, Sharp Nail Scorpio. Um, Vicious Claw Dragon Lacerator Rex. Auto, when it's placed from hand, put, a, uh, put the top card of your deck down as an equip gauge for this unit. So equip gauges are, I forgot to mention before, but they are a new mechanic specifically for Tachikaze that put the top card of your deck face down underneath it. And you gain benefits from um, having them there, whether it's gaining power or drawing cards. And continuous, when it would be retired from rearguard circle, you may soul blast one. If you do, return up to one gauge equipped to this unit to your hand. So you get more, this potentially just uh, kill him to draw a card, which is very nice. Then we have Sonic Noah, the one I was talking about before. He's a grade one for Tachikaze with auto rearguard circle. When it boosts the rearguard, put the top card of your deck face down on the boosted unit as an equip gauge. And auto vanguard circle, rearguard circle, when it's attack, or the attack that it boosted hits Vanguard, retire one of your rear guards and draw a card. So you can retire this and then just draw two from it. We have Bombing Tailback, Savage Raider, 
a sister Terex, uh, Lava Mutant Lava Draft, Medical Butler Runkley, and Cheer Girl Jamie, who is a perfect guard, as well as Water Gang for Mega Colony. So when it stands, which includes your stunned phase as well on Rear Guard Circle, you can counter blast one and put him to the soul to draw two cards. So you can also get him out from the soul for basically free with um, by calling or riding Machining Stag Beetle, who we'll hopefully see. So Diabolic Middle Guard, Cheer Girl Franny, Jocular Cicada, Savage Aggressor, Black Cannon Tiger, oh, damn it. Uh, Winged Dragon Sky Terror and Juggernaut Maximum. So he's a triple R for Spike Brothers with Vanguard Circle, Rear Guard Circle, when placed, gains plus 10k till the end of the turn and also has the Force Marker. Um, auto Rear Guard Circle at the beginning of your main phase, put it into the Soul, search your deck for Juggernaut Maximum and put it onto Rear Guard Circle and shuffle your deck. So he's not the best on Vanguard Circle, but he's a nice. At least he has the gift, so he is keeping the deck going somewhat. Um, you mostly want the VR for the on the Vanguard Circle, but Juggernaut Maximum himself is very, very good. Um, he's a very, very big threat, um, especially with the VR General Seyfried. Hopefully we'll see him, because he can put uh, Maximum into the soul to then call another one out from the deck, but with giving it 10k, and he gains 10k himself, so he gains 20k on a force marker plus 30k, so it does get quite ridiculous. So we have Nasty Smog, um, Sharp Tail Dragon Refill Stegu, uh, Bombing Tailback, a Sledge Anklo, Herbivorous Dragon Brutus Brutosaurus, uh, high speed Bracky, so very very similar to Juggernaut Maximum, but he's great too. So one place gains 10k, and at the beginning of your main phase, put him into the soul. Search deck for a high speed Bracky, call it to rear guard circle. And then we also have the Triple R Machining Mantis. So pl when it's placed on Vanguard Circle or Rear Guard Circle, you can counter blast one to look at the top six cards of your deck, reveal a grade three from among them, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, and this unit gets plus six thousand. So grade threes are very important to the Mega Colony deck, especially the VR. You want the VR always on Vanguard Circle, and the other two that you most likely use, which would be um, one we've already seen, we've seen wherever he's gone. <laughs> um, there we go, Antline, uh, he's for late game, and Stag Beetle, who is, you want him the same turn you sort of ride uh, Spark Hercules. But yeah, this, this unit is very, very useful to the deck. He may not seem like much at first, but he does help out a lot. And we have uh, Sharing Stego, Funky Bazooka, Burner Ant, Tiny Rex. Uh, Savage Shaman, Phantom Black, when it boosts you can discard a card and until the end of the battle it gets... Uh, this unit gets plus 6000 power and your opponent cannot call normal units from hand to guardian circle. And we got the VR, well the first VR, which is Ravenous Dragon Gigarex. So auto vanguard circle, when it attacks put up to one card from the top of your deck face down as an equip gauge on each of your rear guards. This unit gets plus 5000 power for uh, until the end of battle for each of your rear guards, so for free it gets so much power. Um, but it, it's not exactly free if you consider the effect as like milling your deck, but you are still gaining benefits from the card you're putting underneath the other cards. And his act is Vanguard Circle Discard, 5 Equip Gauge. Three of your front row units get, front row rear guards get plus 5000 power till the end of the turn. And if your opponent's Damage zone has four or less cards. Uh, deal one damage to your opponent's vanguard. So direct damage is always nice, and yet yeah, even more power. So unless you're a protect clan, that that powerful uh, Gigarex is really gonna uh, start doing some serious damage. Then we've got him again, Dragon Egg, Funky Bazooka. Ooh. Losing focus a bit. Uh, Bracky and Phantom Black. Doing well on the bracky so far. You kind of need four, so it's good to have those. Uh, strong toxin mutant hell demise. Oh, small captain butterfly officer who is amazing for the mega colony deck. Savage raider. Uh, lava draft. Runtley. Uh, another perfect guard. This one for Tachikaze. And 
Assault Dragon Blightop. So when it would be retired from Rearguard Circle, you may counter plus one if you do return two gauges from the top of your deck uh, equipped to this card to your hand. So you draw two cards for getting rid of this guy. Uh, if you do that with uh, Sonic Noah, you draw three cards. So it, it's incredible, really. Uh, bombing Tailback. Uh, Restall Stego. Diabolic Middle Ground. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get past these commons. Uh, Treasured Black Panther, so rearguard circle. When it attacks, you can solve plus one. This unit can either gain plus 5,000 or plus 15,000 till the end of battle. If you go for the 15,000, then you put this card into your soil at the end of the battle, which will be amazing for premium um, because you can just, you have an empty slot there. You can put something else there, which will be really nice. So um, for standard, you will want to get the 5,000 unless you're either you're planning to change the field up next turn or. Um, this is like your final push. And we have Spiteful Hopper. So when placed, Soul Blast 1, uh, and one of your units gets plus 6,000 power until the end of turn. If you have no face-up cards in the damage zone, you can counter charge 1. Another useful counter charger. We've seen all the counter chargers. The other one was a um, Butterfly Officer, who's, when she is placed on Rearguard Circle, you can rest her to give something 10k, and at the end of the turn it goes into Soul, and you counter charge 1. So Mega Colony get 3 counter chargers, um, but they kind of need it, and um, and the most reliable one is the common butterfly officer. But the other two do help out a lot too. So we have burner at assisted X, uh, hell demise, sledge, brutosaurus. Oh, these cards are sticking together, so keep moving them up. Uh, Savage King is a grade three for with the Axel trigger for Tachikaze, and when this unit. Uh, sorry, continuous. Rearguard circle. This unit gets plus 5,000 power for each gauge on it. And when it attacks Vanguard, you can move all gauges equipped from one of your units to this unit. So just stack him up with like seven gauges and watch him destroy your opponent. And then we have Gyro Slinger. Uh, rearguard circle, Vanguard circle. Um, sorry, auto Vanguard circle, Rearguard circle. When placed, put the top card. You put a card from your hand into your soul. Look at the number of cards from the top of your deck equal to your Vanguard's grade. Pull up to one of them, uh, put the rest to the bottom of your deck, and that unit gets plus 5,000 power. Uh, so good for enabling things, especially if you've got like a an extra grade 3 that you don't want in hand, or oops, or um, or even like a draw trigger, a non-perfect guard draw trigger. So Butterfly Officer again, uh, White Tight End, Kachigal uh, Franny, Tiny Rex, Shepherd Shaman, so we're Commander Gary Gunn. Um, auto rearguard circle. When it's attack, when the attack that it boosted hits a vanguard, put this unit to your soul. Draw two cards and put a card fr uh, from your hand to the bottom of your deck. So you can keep some nice little things safe. Like if you've got a Bracky in hand or a Juggernaut Maximum, uh, you put that to the bottom of your deck, and then you can call it back out with other skills. And delusion mutant, a delusional mutant Dazzle Moth, who is the perfect guard for. Um, uh, Mega Con. So, so I'll go through this box a bit quicker, seeing as we've seen most of the lower rarity cards now. So skip past that. We've got Safe Read. Flip through this. Um, probably seen all these. Gary. Yep. And Sonic Noah. Hopefully the VRs we see won't all just be Gigarex. Now we get Temp Mammoth and Dazzle Moth. Wonder Boy and the Draw Trigger Perfect Guard for Spike Brothers, which is Cheer Girl Marilyn. Bloody Hercules again, as well as Lacer Lacerator X. I love Bloody Hercules, I've always really liked him since his original form. Uh, Chico Jamie, Perfect Guard. Oh, another Mega Colony card. This is Machining Hornet. So Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle. When its attack hits, uh, when the attack that it boosted hits a Vanguard, or when it hit himself, uh, look at the top six cards of your deck, reveal up to one grade three from among them, put it to hand, and shuffle your deck. 
if you put a card into your hand and this unit is on rearguard circle, put it into your soul. Uh, which is not a problem because you can get him back out of there. And um, this continues to work well for the deck as uh, getting those grade threes that early on is very, very important. So if you're going second and you can ride this, be sure to because your opponent's probably going to take the damage to use their skills. And also you get a grade three out of it. A free grade three because you won't even be able to, you won't even have to put them into the soul. Uh, so go through these, do do do, Water Gang and Sky Terror. Savage King. Ooh, and another VR. Machining Spark Hercules, my VR. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm building Mega Colony again because uh, I did in G and also before G. I've always loved Mega Colony, so I'm so glad that they're back so early on. Um, so he's a grade 3 with the Protect Marker. And act Vanguard Circle once per turn, counter blast 2, choose 5 of your rear guards, stand them, and they gain plus 5,000 power until the end of turn. Choose all of your opponent's re un uh, sorry, all your opponent's units, rest them, and they get minus 5,000 power until the end of the, your opponent's next turn. Add Act Vanguard Circle once per turn, put a grade 2 or less card into your soul, and this unit gets plus 5,000 until the end of turn for each of your opponent's rested units, which is especially good against Axel, because they can gain more and more circles. The more circles there are, the more rested rear guards there are, the more power you gain. And we go through these. Got Bracky and Archbird, which is Touchy Gazzy's uh, door trigger perfect up. And we've got Phantom Black and Touchy Gazzy's grade one perfect up. And we've got another Juggernaut Maximum there. And another Machining Mantis, the same triple R's as before. And Savage King and Spiteful Hopper. Okay, so last box. Hopefully Safery to, uh, to complete the trio. Another Safery Force Marker. These two, blah, blah, blah. Gyro Slinger and Spiteful Hopper. Savage King and Gary Gannon. Uh, Machining Mantis again, as well as Wonder Boy. Antlion again. We have a Tent Mammoth and Sonic Noah. Ooh, there's a new card. Ravenous Dragon Mega Rex, who's triple R grade 3. Uh, auto Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle. When it attacks a Vanguard, retire one of your Rearguards and draw a card. So with Blight Tops and things like that, you can draw three cards because of the equip pages you get. And if this unit is on Rearguard Circle, Counter Blast 1, put the top card of your deck face down as an equip gauge for this unit, and it gets plus 5,000 until the end of the battle for each equip gauge equipped to it. So similar to how a Savage King works as well. And also another triple R, Spike Bouncer. Um, so he's a very useful unit for the for Spike Brothers. Uh, auto Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle. When it placed, uh, Counter Blast One, Soul Blast One. Look at the top. Look at the number of cards from the top of your deck equal to your Vanguard's grade. Call one of them from among it and put the rest of the bottom of your deck. And at the end of the battle, that this unit attacked. If it's on Rearguard Circle, you can Counter Blast One, put it into your Soul, 
and you draw a card. So bef you don't have to worry about it getting retired or anything because you get benefits from putting it away anyway. And these should be seeing the VR soon. Or, oh no, that's <laughs> joking on maximum again. But this is actually, this um, will replace the VR. Uh, however, the reason it will replace the VR is because it's the OR version of Juggernaut Maximum. So it is the original artwork without the text box and with uh, like the SP texturing around him. So it's very, very nice to see his old artwork. I actually kind of prefer his old artwork as well. I do like his new one still, but I just think it's, I don't know, the old one just seems more... I guess more Juggernaut Maximum to me because I'm used to it. There are some new artworks that I much prefer to the old ones. Um, but stuff like uh, Bloody Hercules, wherever he's gone, he's somewhere in there. Um, I much prefer his old artwork, but I still enjoy his new one as well. And, oh. Not only get two single artists in this one, but we also get a double art. Oh, okay. I think that's the first time it's done that. Um, which is Paralyzed Madonna, which is Meg Connolly's uh, double art. Uh, draw trigger, perfect guard. Check the Cicada, ooh, ooh. Uh, Bracky and Sky Terror. I think that's, I think that's four Bracky now. That's enough. And three Juggernaut Maximum. It's pretty good. So, two, two. We've got Phantom Black, and finally, we've got Assault Dragon Black Tops again. So, the man who draws you two. Pretty good. So yes, that is everything from this box. So we got the, we're missing General Seafried unfortunately, um, but we did still get a Spike Brothers unit to replace him, um, which is something at least. And I think he's worth a bit more than Seafried as well. I mean his OR form, um, and got two of the normal form as well. So that's almost a place that. Uh, so yeah, that's everything from this box. I hope you enjoyed. Um, feel free to leave your comments in the comment section below and. Tell me all your thoughts about these cards and the new set. I'm really looking forward to building my Mega Colony deck. My friends are building like uh, Tachis and Spikes as well, so it'd be the little trio going on there. So yeah, uh, and I hope to see you next time where we'll be opening boxes for VEBO2. So be sure to check that out. Bye.